Then why does your Instagram look different than mine? Uh, I am not sure. These are mysteries that we're going to have to take to Instagram themselves. Huh. Perhaps we should add it into wait. Instagram stories. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Well, let's go to your picture. I don't have a theory. N- no? No, this next. That's yeah. A, that's a nice picture, by the way. Interesting. Yeah, I like that picture. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 46 of A Brew With You. I am one of your hosts, Blake Mickle, accompanied by the executioner himself, Danny123 Brahas. None shall pass. I was thinking wrestling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, yeah. Do you think Gandalf would do that in the ring? Uh, Gandalf? He should no, have done that I, just, the, uh, the I, I, I mean, he, he probably did. On the, I think he laid the smack down on the way down, but uh, I think he just got too cocky at first. Um, so it's kind of like in wrestling when they jump off the, uh, the corner there, and as they're falling... It's like a slow motion of uh, Gandalf and the Belrog fighting when they're falling down the pit, but like, you know, boom, 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 and then bam on the mat. And right. And Gandalf's like, one, two, three, and then he rips off his beard and goes, ah. I don't think he would rip off his beard. That just seems excessive. But he's a wizard. He can just grow it right back. Or just, he has his beard in his head and just puts Maybe his, his beard is fake. On. Huh? Maybe his beard is fake. Ooh, it didn't time us. You gotta time us. Gotta time us. Gotta time us. Gotta time us to know how long this is. You say, wait, wait, his beard is what? Fake. Oh, fake. What if his Gan- beard was fake? Hmm. I think he would get... Or what if it was just a magic beard? That sounds like a good song title. Yeah. Magic beard. The magic beard? That also kind of sounds like an excellent name for a beer. Oh, that's a... G- <gasps> when we open up our brewery, which we're going to do, um, yeah. we're going to... We should put that in the, the back burner. Yes. Not the name of the brewery, but just name of a, a beer. Name of magic a beer. beer. Yeah. I like that. Magic beard. I like that a lot. And so when someone. We'll have to Google it and make sure it's not taken already. Patent pending. Dude, that's a great idea. Patent pending. <laughs> I think there's a little tiny bit more that goes into uh, putting a patent on things and that. But hey, we can, we can try. Uh, if you say it on a Brew With You podcast, it's official. Okay. So a lot of people can come on over, just say it, and, yep. s- and, s- and shall be written, shall be done. We're pretty much like notaries. Mm. How you been recently? Uh, good. Uh, I've been living that office life. I've been, uh, oh, yeah, you, Mr. Nine to five. I have been through a series, uh, of nonstop interviews. Um, executioner. The, <laughs> generally, generally a title given to our beverage director, but passed over to me today because I just, uh, unfortunately a lot of people got passed into me and they did not get past me. You can't um, get past the executioner. Right. You want to get to this ball, you have to come through me. Um, obviously I can't go into detail about it, uh, but hey, it's work, it's, it's work related. So I'm, I, I, I'm not going to share any specifics, but, uh, the only thing I can say is I, I had to say no, I had to, I had to pull a Randy Jackson, uh, and just be like, yeah, that's going to be a no for me, dog. Cause, uh, they just, you know, we have specific requirements and the requirements weren't met. I'm trying to, wait, I'm blanking out Randy Jackson reference. For uh, Randy. American Idol. Yeah. That's going to be a no for me, dog. Oh, he's a bald guy? Yes. No, yes, bald, yes. Yes. yes that's, that's what he says? That's going to be a no from me, dog? Yes. And, 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 also, and also portrayed uh, and done by Frank Reynolds, Danny DeVito, and It's Always Sunny. Oh, okay. God, I need to catch up on Always Sunny. I miss Always well, Sunny. That, that episode was Dee's talent show, and that I don't even remember. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, that was, that was a couple of seasons back. Oh, yeah. But he played the role of Randy Jackson in that. <laughs> For any of you joining us for the very first time, a brew with you is where Danny and I will try a. I say try a beer for the very first time. Sure. And I'm thinking about this, but like we're not trying a. Be- we're, I mean, does that sound right? Do we yeah. try, or try a new beer for the very first time, or does that sound redundant? We try uh, a new beer for the very first time, or do we? I think trying something new for the very first time is a little redundant. Yeah. So just say yeah. do we try a beer for the very first time. Yep. Okay. Everyone got it. Let's start over. Rewind. Just, just fixing the facts here and there's on the fly. Right. Sure. Here. All right. Doing it again. Correcting the grammar. Yeah. <laughs> grammar, that is. For any of you joining us for the very first time, a brew with you is where Danny and I will try a beer for the very first time while discussing random topics broken out Tuesday through Thursday on YouTube with the whole episode being released on Friday. If you like what you see, like what you hear, like what you feel, go to patreon.com slash big deal Blake to get this episode a week early along with your other exclusive content perks and rewards and all that good stuff. How it works, 
Danny brought the beer this week, so I choose where to drink. And, you know, I, I just can't... I, I'm not watching as much as I'd like. I've watched a little bit every day, but the Olympics are going on. Oh, yeah. I, I personally am a big fan of the Olympics. I know a lot of people don't care or they're bored with some events. I love the Olympics. Sure. So I'm going to say Olympics, and then I'll explain a little bit more why. So let's just say... you want, I'd say Olympics. I don't want to say Rio. I'm talking about all the Olympics. Okay. So... Olympics on yeah. three. One, two, three. Olympics. Olympics. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Um, I love the fact of world competition. Yes. I love the fact. I brought this up when Jeff was on. Uh, so I was, consequently love the world domination, but please go on. You are the executioner. Um, I love the fact like a man or woman can run a race and say, I am the fastest man or I'm the fastest woman in the world. Like, yeah. Like think about it. I'm the, fa- I, I'm going to say man because I'm a man. So like, be like, I'm the fastest man in the fucking world. Who's like, saying bolt. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Maybe they haven't done track and field yet. Is he running this year? I think he's, he is. he's, this is, he said that he is retiring after this year. Yeah. Um, so if he wins, if he wins it in again, he ends the career as, as the fastest man on the planet. And then you look at like Michael Phelps, like he's what nineteen gold medals now. It's crazy. Uh, I think twenty one. Oh God. Yeah, he's won three more. Damn. Because uh, after he uh, crushed uh, Laclos or whatever the guy from South Africa's name is, uh, which that was the best watching that whole rivalry yeah, 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 pan yeah. out. Yeah, that was fun. And I don't know if you've seen it, but my favorite picture by far is everybody has the still image. The Phelps face is great, yeah. and it's it's hysterical. But in the actual race, uh, there's a picture of Phelps swimming. His his focus is right forward, and they show right in the next lane. The guy from South Africa is is swimming and looking at Phelps, and he's behind him, and it's just like oh cool. The 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 caption on it uh, is is uh, winners focus on what's in front. Winners focus on the goal in front of them. Losers focus on the winners. Did Phelps write that? Uh, I don't think so. Um, but it's still an awesome quote and it's still an awesome picture. And I was just like, yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Phelps, uh, yeah. I mean, what a character too. You know what I mean? I remember when he was the first or second Olympic, it was the second Olympics. I remember that one and he, they'd made the uh, Goku gif out of him. That was really funny. Yes. That was really funny. He was really intense that Olympics. So he was like on, he was like really worked up. And I think he swept that year too. He was got old golds, but anyway, we talk about the Olympics and there's like some events that, like I think the um, the decathlon is one of the greatest events of all time. It's actually a subgroup in track and field where it's like you do all ten, you like do ten events, and it's like that's pretty much to me is like the definitive athlete right there. Yeah, it's like you can jump the farthest, jump the highest, run the fastest, throw the farthest. You know what I mean? It's like pretty much the definitive a- a- oh, athlete. Yeah. I mean, in terms of some i mean it's, there's some things it's weird like the pentathlon's weird like it's so weird the pentathlon but again you think about it it breaks down so many different um like s- skill sets so like you sh- how to shoot how to shoot a gun accurately you ride a horse run a long distance um there's swimming and then there's maybe fighting or like not fighting um that's pretty much being a cowboy in a western yeah, movie. in a way yeah. you know what i mean it's like yeah that's a great way of saying it <laughs> yeah it's called it the cowboy event yeah. how to be a cowboy they're probably roping some steer yeah. you know <laughs> that's actually that's so funny danny who's got the best cowboy skills oh that's so funny she'll do it in cowboy hats and flannel all right, well, you know, I have just love for the Olympics. Um, I need to watch more of it. We still got, like, I think we still have another, more than a week still, like 10 days. Wait, seven, how long is the Olympics? 10 days? I think I, 10 want, days, to say, days? I want to say it goes through the 21st. I'm not 100% certain about yeah, that. Yeah, 17 days, I think that sounds right. Yeah. Um, so plenty more things to, to watch on that. So what do we got, Danny? Well, speaking of Cowboys, uh, this is a Hefeweizen from Baderbrow here in Chicago <gasps> called High Noon. You brought me a Hefe. I love me some Hefe's. Um, so Bader Brow uh, is a brewery that has started off in Elmhurst, Illinois. Uh, it's changed ownership a handful of times. Uh, just very recently in uh, 2010, uh, its current owner took over production. Uh, they kind of revamped some things with one of the original uh, brewers from the company. They started production of just the classic Pilsner that they put out in 2012. Uh, 2014, they actually bought a warehouse, and just this year, uh, that warehouse is a new brew pub for them yeah. uh, in downtown Chicago off of South Wabash. Lovely. So, um, since they have had a few years now, they've started putting out uh, a different series of beers. 
Uh, I and and for me because I'm not such a gigantic fan of of pilsners, usually just because it's it's like the most classic form of beer and there usually isn't a ton to them. Nothing wrong with a standard, but I hear what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, uh, I I mean I actually like their pilsner quite a bit, so I've been looking to try some of their new stuff and. Uh, Hefeweizen sounded refreshing, uh, as it has kind of been a warm couple of days for us. It has been. A little toasty. I mean, not, yeah, not hot, like disgusting hot, but it's been a little toasty. Yeah. But um, I noticed it because you know why? We're, not, we're, it's, we're having these days and there's not a cloud in the sky, so it's just direct yes. sunlight hitting you. you yes. Know? Even if it is like, only, it's not in the 90s, but it still is direct sunlight hitting you like that. Well, let's crack it open. Yeah. Um, 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 you know what? Yeah, I'll get into it in a second. Let's just, sure. I'm thirsty. That's why I want to. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. I love that sound. Um, classically, uh, you know, you're you're in Hefeweizen is a wheat beer. Uh, wheat beers go by many names. Hefeweizen is super Hefeweizen is uh, a title for a style of wheat beer. Uh, Hefe is the German word for yeast, uh, which generally means bottle conditioned beers, uh, aka ale and lease, like we've heard before and learned about before on this show. Sure. Um, characteristics: uh, you're gonna have uh, more. F- Fruity aromas coming off this. You're not going to get so much of the hot bitterness. Uh, very generally, very low IBU counts. Uh, I didn't actually read the direct description on the bottle of this one. Those are just kind of classic profiles of it. But more often than not, um, more of a citrus taste. A uh, lot of clove. You'll get spice uh, on the finish in it. Um, so, did you already go for it? I uh, I had like a, a sip only because it was foaming out. It was sure. like it was, right. was foaming. The, the safe to... sip. The safe sip. It was the yeah. foam. Yeah. So, Mr. Obvious, sir. Cheers. Yes, very good. Uh, can we cheers to the Silver Surfer? Um, this is my favorite T-shirt in the whole wide world. Yeah, yeah. Well, cheers to the Silver Surfer. My favorite T-shirt. I, you know, I love. This is like my, one of my favorite all time. This is my Comic Con T-shirt. It's a great T-shirt. Yeah, I, and it's starting to wear down. I'm getting really scared because I might. I need to get a final replacement. I haven't found a replacement. Let's drink the beer. <clears throat> mm. ha, ha. Yes. That is. Um, that is a heffy. Um, Hmm. Well, this is right. This is the right beer for this time of year, man. Uh, it's um, we got um, it's very light. Uh, very, it definitely tastes that the the wheat taste. That's the most predominant flavor I feel. Um, when you think Hefeweizen, though, it tastes like this. Um, I feel it's very standard Hefeweizen, though. That's so what's my first impression right now. Uh, we'll see how it does in the long haul after this beer is done, but. First impression, I'm not it, it, I'm not getting that robust flavor of uh, wheat. It's just, it just tastes very standard. I uh, I didn't think of it until post, uh, like right after we cracked the can. Uh, traditionally with Hefeweizens, you do kind of want to mix them up a little bit um, prior to opening, usually. I just want to do this. If um, you're just listening to the podcast, we're rolling the cans between gently, our palms. Gently between our hands. Mm. Now, traditionally, you want to do this because... Uh, I got to con- gift this. <laughs> Bottle-conditioned beers... Uh, generally, that means there is uh, some additional <laughs> yeast uh, strain in the bottom of the can. Uh, it causes you know a little extra fermentation, uh, generally a little extra carbonation. But you want that to kind of mix into the beers. If you get a Hefeweizen that comes out that's like crystal clear, uh, either it is filtered or it was poured wrong. Most of the time with Hefeweizens, that you know they're going to be unfiltered, and you're looking for kind of that cloudy, hazy appearance. Yeah. I, I, I what I love about Hef, the Hefeweizens is that it's. They're a little addicting out of all the beers. I just feel like I just I can just drink, just pour it down. Like IPAs, are like sipping or in, pacing myself. Have a vice, and I just feel like I, it's like water. Not, yeah. not like it tastes watered down, but I just it, I just L- chug it. Literally, they market some of their beers as crushable, which I mean that's yeah, yeah. that's a hard definition of session beers. And this one is not heavy on ABV. No. Um, I think it was under yeah, it's four point nine. It's under five percent. Yeah. Um, graphic design point of view. This is very interesting. This label is very like slapped on there. Did you notice this? It looks like, look at even at the top, it looks like there's a sticker on here. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. It's not like a part of the can or it's not like fused with it. It's like, it's like, it's kind of like slapped on there. It's really, and very sloppily too. Very interesting. You think that's a cost saving to not have to print the can? Yeah, absolutely. 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 Oh Yeah. I mean, this is, but I mean, it's not, it just, you it's like so weird seeing a can below it that has nothing right. on it at all. It's standard aluminum. Yeah. This is an interesting choice, Danny. And um, for any of you who watched the preamble, we just released, well, it was last week if you're watching this now, but we released um, Johnny's trailer for trailer bait, uh, 
hell or high noon or high, hell or high water. I should say I've mm-hmm. seen high noon on the bear. Hell or high water. That's what I'm that. Another that movie looks awesome. By the way, you watch that in the preamble. What we cover. It's uh, yeah. starring Chris Chris uh, Pine and uh, Ben Foster, and they're like two Robin Hood bandits in like modern Western movie. And okay. Jeff Bridges is the sheriff. All right. Um, everything about that seems like a movie that I would absolutely watch. Yeah, it looks good. It looks really, and it's also the right because I am not overly pumped about the remake of the Magnificent Seven. I I. I for knowing you, Danny, like I want to be excited for you. Um, I always have a little bit of mixed feelings towards Magnificent Seven because it's based off my favorite movie. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. And my, I mean, my favorite movie, is, it's the same premise, but I mean, uh, well, I'm not thinking against um, the Magnificent Seven because I love Yul Brenner in that and um, and Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen, thank you. Um, it's a good movie. I love it too. It's just that for me, you know, I like the original and it's a masterpiece. The original, it's a masterpiece. And I'm just, uh, and that's my biggest thing too with movies, man. I'm just tired of remakes. Like Magnificent yeah. Seven, why are we doing a Magnificent Seven? Like, like do, how about we do have the same cast we have, but just not Magnificent Seven? Right. That's all I'm saying. Can somebody just write me a new story? Yeah. Possibly and, Hell or High Water. Ooh, that, that movie looks good. That movie, I wouldn't it's be surprised. It's not a remake, is it? I don't think so. That's a good point. I have to look into that. So, Danny, I want to... Raising all the right questions. Oh, let's uh, do some real quick uh, fixing the facts, because I know it's going to be quick. Uh, It is. It's going to be lightning fast. Um, Actually, I will have to reference uh, some notes for this one. Okay. So, we were with uh, Andrew Wu last week. Um, Big props to Wu. He yes. was a great guest, Absolutely. and I really liked that show. I had a good, f- I had a fun time with that show. It was a lot of fun, and I, like I said, I can't say much. But Wu and I are working on, uh, well, early, early talks of another show being added to Big Deal Blake. All right, but I can't promise anything. The, I mean, most of that <clears throat> show. For those of you who did watch it, thank you for watching it. For those of you who did not watch it, uh, you should probably watch it because it was a lot of fun to do. Uh, and Andrew is quite a character. He's awesome. Yeah, yeah um, we really enjoyed it too. We we hit. A lot of topics that pertained to personal memories. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a long week already, all right? Uh, <laughs> anyways, I, I got called the executioner at work today, man. Um, oh, anyways, man. anyways. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's an inside joke that uh, next time Blake does a Patreon exclusive, he'll explain that joke to you and what happened and why it was funny to us. Yes, we will. Um, we did a lot of personal memories. We talked about Nintendo, which was tons of fun because I wouldn't, how often do you get to just talk about old school Nintendo and your first memories that, that are surrounding one of the, the most like yeah. game changing, pun intended, uh, gaming systems of all time. It's weird. I like talking about games. I just don't play them anymore just because of the time consumption and it's, it sucks. Except but- for when you're walking to work. Oh, but it's, yeah, it's multitasking. Gotta catch them all. God, I do catch them all. I'm, I am trying, damn it. There's so many. I met like... Out of 150 Pokemon, I'm around, I'm closing in on 90, I think. Not bad. It, you're going to get along great with the rest of my management oh, staff. Every yeah. single one of them. Speaking play. of which, reminder, we have to talk about it now. Uh, we got to talk about the end of the month, your, your soft opening. We got to talk about that. So remind me later, okay? Yeah, Don't absolutely. forget. Re- don't forget. Remind me. But really, early on, uh, we were just kind of, uh, you know, uh, Shooting the shit. Uh, I was trying to look for a better phrase so that I didn't have to swear on your show, but uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> you can swear. Do you, you swear on the show, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, I mean, I we drop, don't swear a lot, but we no, swear. I drop an occasional F bomb yeah, here and there. I swore. I already swore this morning. Yeah. I, I, uh, for the it's morning. Once about the, the, I swore this morning, right when I woke <laughs> I, up. I woke Fucking up. good morning, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> I, w- I wake up cursing most of the time. God. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm uh, still alive. <laughs> I didn't die in <laughs> passing. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's um, rich. I'm going to add that just to let you know. Sure. Yeah. No, by all means. Go ahead. So what, do we got? Um, so what are you getting to? So what, I, what I'm getting to is that really the only thing that we brought up that was kind of noteworthy, that now that I'm officially a Patreon, a patron for Big Deal Blake, hey, um, finally made it. Thank you, technology, for working with me on this one. That's, and uh, you had to adjust some settings on there. And just so you know, because we've talked about it a bit before, now, the instant I type up, big deal. You like the first one that pops That's up. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm really glad to hear that. And also, too, because I'm at actually a pace of getting a patron a month. And that is really heartwarming. It really is. Yeah. Um, technically, I don't have a job right now. So this is my job right now. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm not getting much. But, I mean, like, 
it's my it's focus be dedicating right now. a lot of time to it. I will. Yeah. I, I, for, fuck yeah, I am. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I have the time now. No reason not to. I'm not getting paid, but I'm still. I love it, and that's what I. You know, and uh, so that's um means a lot, buddy. It does. Yeah. I mean, you're on the show, and you're still uh, chipping a few bucks. So that's sure. Um, that's that absolutely. Means a lot. It means I a mean, lot. technically, I could just sit here and illegally pirate every episode. <laughs> I just, I just take, just take one long selfie. You really want this episode? Yeah. Really come talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> I put that's my, actually. I put it in my Instagram stories. The yeah. whole episode is my Instagram stories. That's, that's <laughs> actually, that's actually my Patreon account is just, just bootleg versions of our show. Bootleg daddy. Yeah. <laughs> you never know what he's gonna be doing next. That's cool. Um, but anyways, because we just keep getting off topic about this, yeah. the only thing that really we kind of we made a joke about uh, slash we're like, oh, actually, uh, we can fix that. We can look that up. But we uh, we said something about red hair, uh, and you looked at Wu, and you're just like, I actually heard that is a mutation. And we just we were trying to move topics, so you're like, yeah, we'll look that up later. Uh, since really that was the only thing that I had to research, and I do love researching things. Mm. Um, I researched it. Uh, turns out, yes, it actually is a genetic mutation. Um, Gingers are X Men. Uh, not, <laughs> <laughs> not, not unlike you know uh, colored eyes or anything like that. Um, so it basically what it boils down to is that there is one of two chemicals uh, that kind of cause either. Uh, blondish hair or brunette hair. Um, if you have more of one or the other, it usually will carry out the balance to either blonde or brunette. Mm. Uh, they are controlled by a gene called MC1R. Uh, if, Duh. That, if that gene, if both of those are mutated, and sometimes it will stop the conversion of those two chemicals uh, mixing to create either blonde or uh, brunette hair, you end up with red hair. And that is it. That's, I find that so they are mutated freaks. <laughs> <laughs> they are not I, supposed to happen. I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> one of our good patrons. I believe it's one of our good patrons has red hair. I believe it's one in four. I think is what was the statistic. One there. of four's Blake's patrons. <laughs> one of every four. Makes sense. The numbers. The numbers stack up. Um, okay, I got to wrap this up. So we only had to fix one fact because well, Andrew was a very, very, very smart man. And he doesn't say stupid stuff, unlike Danny and I. So luckily, uh, there's nothing to fix. So yeah. um, thanks to me, you're welcome for getting it right. That I know that redheads are mutated. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that in a good way. Okay. So I want to jump into this fast. Because yeah. we have topics to go to. But I don't care. Um, we can figure we can this. So I got an email. You know what? Maybe I should just make this my. You know, I should introduce this to my topic, and then we'll see how. I don't know. You think I should just bring it into the topic? Uh, fo- if topic? you can, if you can fold it in, fold it in. Um, my topic is, is just kind of silly. Well, let's start with yours then, and we'll do this, and then we'll start with yours. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna stop it now, and then we're gonna go to part two, Danny's topic, and then we're gonna before we start Danny's topic, we're gonna introduce a little little live action here with some apps, some things, some things. Yeah. All right. So. Um, Let's continue on with this goofiness, then Danny's topic, right now. Woo.